What is poppin' BDF? How y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to reacting, reaction stuff, reacting to horror videos. It's my first time doing this shit, if you can tell already. But, uh, yeah, though, uh, first thing first. Yeah, I'm wearing a body. I just did my hurt. Like, not like did it, like retwist it, but I put some chemicals and shit in my hurt. So, my hair is much, uh, cleaner and, uh, softer smells better did that another i do that kind of stuff whenever i'm done i ain't got to explain none of y'all y'all better accept me as i as i accept y'all you know what i'm saying like just as, the, the way i am y'all better accept me for in a way because i accept y'all for the way y'all are simple as that um that's number one number two if my camera is uh delayed my bad i tried to fix it eh, that's all i can really say All right, first video is going to be by MJF Animations. I believe I watched him whenever I tuned in to Corey Kench's Spooky Scare Sunday. So uh, I believe this man is official with the animations. Indeed, gotta love it. Now, um, I think I've seen a bunch of his animations, but not too many of them. I only seen the ones that Corey seen. So. Yeah, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. This thing going. Good. This happened when I was seven years old. I was a very timid girl back then, and the events that transpired that day have stuck with me ever since. And what happened then? I was staying over at a friend's house one Saturday afternoon, and we were both sitting on the couch watching cartoons. For the sake of this story, we'll call my friend Kate. Kate was two years older than me and could be best described as a tomboy. Unlike me, she was tough and didn't hesitate to beat up any boy at school for saying mean things behind her back. Why did she get mad back. all of a sudden and then just, just went back to her normal At the time, I had a tendency to do whatever face. Kate told me to, even if I didn't want to do it. Anyways, after watching cartoons for a while, I got hungry, so I left the couch and went into the kitchen to grab a snack. The kitchen was small and had a door that led straight to the backyard, and below it was a little doggy door. Okay. Kate no longer had a dog, but the door wasn't removed for some reason. As soon as I stepped into the kitchen doorway, my eyes zeroed in on the doggy door, and I froze. Why? To my absolute horror, a grown man with long brown hair was poking his head inside. Hey, yo! I couldn't see his face, just the top of his head as he was looking up at the doorknob. Kick him! Probably trying to see if he could reach it. I quickly and quietly ran around the corner to hide. Thankfully, he didn't see me as much as he ran was too busy trying to squeeze his goddamn arm NFL soccer. Um, shit. NFL Kate's football parents kick. were out shopping at the I'll time, kick. so we were both home alone with this guy trying to break in. And it was here that Did I you made my first mistake. Instead of calling the police, I ran back to the living room where Kate was and told her about the man. No, call the police she first. thought I was joking, no, call the police so I first. grabbed her by the hand and pulled her off the couch, then led her back to the kitchen so she could see the man He's for not herself. There. Sure enough, he was still there. His face was still obscured as he was looking up at the Beat door. Beat his door. ass! But this time, he had his whole arm... I don't want to practice anything right now, baby. Inside the doggy door and tried to reach for the knob. Kate let out a soft whimper before quickly putting her hand over her mouth. It was the first time I saw her look so scared, but she looked back at me. Her fears seemingly went away. Like these, she right then here. placed a reassuring hand on my shoulder and put her fingers to her lips to keep me quiet. Don't worry. We're going to teach that creep a lesson okay. you'll never forget. Okay, Kate. She said with a smoke. Be grin. whooping these boys' ass at school? I Whoop wasn't his sure ass. What Wrong she was man. Planning. We were two scrawny little girls dressed in tank tops and That's shorts. That's fine. Not exactly the picture of intimidation, but like an idiot, I agreed to go along with whatever. I just realized. He's. That, that's a door. With the doggy door. Lead me to the backyard. When you go through the door, it's a kitchen. What does kitchen have? Utensils. What are utensils? Spoons. 
forks, and knives. Grab a knife. Hit him in this motherfucker. Shit. Okay, I said. Great. We're gonna have to sneak up on this guy. You don't so have do to do anything. He's stuck. Well, he's not stuck, but be quiet. Just run up on him. She said before walking into the kitchen with me close behind. There's no reason to. Even though we tried our best to be stealthy, our feet squeaked loudly across the floor. With Them damn crocs. I already know it. Kate's mom must have cleaned the floor recently, and since Kate and I were both barefoot, barefoot. Never mind. the squeaking was twice as loud. Tip-toe. We stopped and looked at each other nervously for a moment, thinking we were done for. But Still probably Kate, not already the in man's it. constant fumbling with the locked door blocked any of the squeaks we made. So by sheer dumb luck, one he hold wasn't by alerted hold of our him presence, like this. Even though our and footsteps the other one just were as loud as an incoming freight train. My heart raced as we continued walking forward, getting closer and closer to the intruder. The man hadn't noticed us yet, but he I yanked his why. head and arm out after seemingly giving up on reaching for the knob. Hey, that was kind of quick. Kate sighed in disappointment, but I this figured he'd be back to try again. She then sat down in front of the doggy door while I sat beside her. As soon as he pokes his head in, we're gonna kick him as hard as we can. Kate snickered as she raised both of her no, feet the off bro, the floor. Them dirty and ass feet ain't gonna do nothing to that man. Preparing them for the kick. I did the same, Bruh. and we both just stayed in that position, like that. Like, waiting for the man. Go some, put some shoes on. You do more no damage. More than twenty seconds passed before the doggy door flapped open again. Who? And the man popped his head in, this time giving us a good look at his face. Punch him! And didn't kick. We just sat there, frozen. We just sat there, frozen, Why? eyes wide with fear as we tried to comprehend what we were looking at. Excuse me. His face, my God, his face looked like it had all of its skin ripped off, leaving only exposed muscle. Yeah, the I'm top of his head looked normal enough with the brown hair, but his face was gone. This is not a face we were expecting to see. Looking back, I'm not sure if his skin was actually gone, or if he just had a detailed tattoo, which my seven-year-old brain believed to be real. And if it was a tattoo, then damn, it was a good one. The exposed muscles and sinews around his cheekbones looked so lifelike that it left both me and my friend It's the petrified. fact that y'all still looking at him is the what's killing me. The man himself was also surprised when he saw us for the first time. He glanced between the two of us, completely speechless. And why wouldn't he be? He wasn't expecting to kick find him. two little girls if waiting you're gonna for kick him, kick us him. out of the door, with their bare feet raised in the air. He probably smells like mere inches from his face. The entire situation was so surreal. And awkward. After a minute of awkward silence, a as minute. we just looked at each other, the man finally smiled at us. And when he did, my friend and I began to quake in fear. As if this guy couldn't get any weirder, his mouth was full of razor sharp teeth. Almost as if he were a monster straight out of a horror movie. Then, without warning, he lunged his head forward, mouth wide open like he was ready what to- What is he, a zombie? Fight. Kate and I screamed as we fell no, back on our No, you scream. Kate ain't scream. feet away from the man's teeth. Kate about to dip out on your shut. ass. He missed us by mere centimeters, and we weren't about to stick around so Bro, he could try again. You are in the I kitchen. Quickly world. Oh, look at the weapons back there. Look the at kitchen. him. Kate, however, took a little longer to get up, and the man was able to grab her ankle, oh making my. her fall to the floor. Looking over my shoulder, I could see Kate screaming as she was being dragged towards the man, who once again had his mouth open, ready to take a bite. Kate started kicking there the man's go. face there you with go. her other there foot, you go. making him let go for a moment, only to grab her other foot. Uh. I raced back into the kitchen, grabbed a few apples that had been sitting... I'm going to grab a few apples off the table, and I'm going to throw them at an intruder. While we're inside of a kitchen with a whole bunch of knives, forks, and all them other utensils. I'm gonna feed him as I kill him. I'm gonna fix him some cereal. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's the only time you're gonna grab a damn spoon. 
You gonna get his bowl for him and everything too? You gonna feed him? You gonna sit him down at your table? He's throwing apples at the man. I grabbed a few apples that had been sitting on a nearby table and started throwing them at the man. Apples. The man groaned in annoyance as he let my friend go and scrambled out of the doggy door. We could apples. hear his frantic footsteps fading away as he finally left the house. I guess he didn't think breaking in was worth getting pelted by apples. We never told Kate's parents about what happened. I mean, what would we even tell them? A man with no skin on his face and a mouthful of sharp teeth tried to break in. Sharp? Those are not sharp. If anything, those are fucking goddamn decayed teeth. Like, them bitches are about to fall out at any given moment. As soon as he would have tried, as soon as he would have bit Kate's foot, I guarantee you this, all them bitches are going to come out. Either be stuck in Kate's foot or on the floor right there by the doggy door. One of the two. You might have got it infected. You might have got infected. But was it really going to do any damage? Nope. And nearly bit off our toes. Her parents would think we were crazy. <laughs> Dude got a foot fetish. I don't know if that guy was ever caught, but I hope he never tries this with anyone else. I'll probably never forget that face for as long as I live. My best friend Pamela and I hosted a sleepover at my place last weekend. My parents visited my grandma in Wisconsin. It's the same, so it's the I same, the house it's the same uh, uh, story. Pamela and I have been best friends since kindergarten. We've done sleepovers many times before, but as this is our final year of high school, we decided to make this look old as hell. And unfortunately, it turned out to be a sleepover to remember for the rest of our lives. Another classmate, Corey, joined us. Corey. We turned on some music and started talking about our plans. I was having Happy a conversation ride. with Corey when Pamela said, God, you guys are so boring. Really? Then show us how much fun you are. <laughs> I have an idea. What? Are you guys familiar with the Ouija board thing? You mean calling out to dead people? How old are you, six? It works. You just have to concentrate. Corey rolled her eyes as gesturing it was a dumb plan. Now, I've heard about this thing, but never tried it on my own. I thought for a second, and then said in a confused tone, But I don't have a Ouija board. Let's go buy one. I can make one. You don't Just make a Ouija need a few basic things. A piece so of paper, a pencil, and another piece Pamela of paper. Pamela got busy making our Ouija board. She took a piece of cardboard and pasted a white paper on it. Then on the top left, wrote yes, and on the top right, no. In the middle, she wrote the alphabet, A to Z, and down under, wrote numerical one through zero. And at the end of the paper, she wrote, goodbye. Whoa, this looks spooky. That's the fun. Get me a glass from the kitchen. Corey went to get a glass, and I sat there thinking, what the hell are we doing? Yeah, it's pretty damn stupid now, you gotta lie. telling me that we shouldn't be doing this, but I could barely say no to Pamela. Once Corey brought the glass, Pamela took out a half-empty bottle of wine from her backpack. Where'd you get that? Stole it from my dad's cupboard. She filled the glass with wine and drank it in one go. She then filled it again and gave it to Corey. Corey, too, you didn't feel nothing. Hesitation. But when she gave me the glass of wine... I felt kind of worried. Pamela, I don't think this is a good idea. You know, whatever. Come on. I ain't got nothing it's to just say. just one glass. Y'all yeah, sipped don't be a one third of the glass. Y'all gave her three. <laughs> they both three thirds of the glass. Seeing my hesitation. So three third of a cup. Three third of what the fuck with. you want to call it? Yeah, she Pamela took that shit turned off the lights of my room. She turned off the lights. The pale moonlight coming from my window was enough to see around. We sat down in a circle and placed the board right in the middle. Pamela lit a small candle to see the letters clearly and placed the glass on the board. Now you see the, the now listen, head. I'll ask the questions, but first we have to decide who we're going to call. What about Fat Amy? Seriously, Corey? Is that a joke? Come on, 
Don't ruin the fun. That ugly bitch had it coming. Can't disagree with that. <laughs> hey, yo. Paul Amen. Emma and Corey laugh ruthlessly over an unfortunate incident that happened last year. In our class used to be a girl named Amy Sanders. She was overweight and mean kids made fun of her. She usually kept to herself. One day when she was changing in the girls' locker room, someone took her photo and circulated it among the school group. She was so heartbroken and petrified that she drank bleach and died while coughing blood in the girls' bathroom. Oh my God. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. You guys are so mean. I wouldn't be friends with y'all after that oh shit. Oh God, enough with your lectures, Beth. No, nah, I would've Can left them stop? after she said that bitch had it are coming. And got and got up and got my keys and got the fuck up on. Maybe we can ask her if that's about my house, kick their ass out. I mean, ghosts know everything. Ghosts aren't real. Let's find out. We all placed our index fingers on the top of the glass and closed our eyes. Pamela said in a low voice, Think about fat Amy. Why y'all still- Imagine her face. Corey and I certainly did as she said. Pamela kept chanting. Amy, if you're out there, talk to us. Amy, are you there? Nothing happened for a while. I was on the verge to give up on this bullshit, but My. I felt someone breathe on me. What the? I opened my so eyes and saw it was Pamela blowing on my face. She and Corey laughed out loud, seeing me get all creeped out. I lost my calm and screamed at them. This isn't funny, guys. Enough. I'm going to bed. I then got suddenly, roommates. I just we heard a sound. A sound of a girl weeping. What is that? Hold on, let me get rid of his head. A sound of a girl weeping. What is that? The sound started to grow louder, as if whoever was oh, crying was no. now walking towards my room. That's that bitch from Left 4 Dead. Get up on out of there. Pamela. Get up on out of there. Pranks? I, I swear, I'm not doing anything. We Take all stood out up first. I ain't gonna lie to you. Our faces were pale. My God. I know it very well that there was no one else in this house except for the three of us. And even if someone enters, the door alarm will buzz like crazy, identifying a break-in. Our heartbeats got faster as the sound came closer each second. I'm not even at surprised point, after what happened to all three, y'all. That I could tell someone was standing right on the other side of my bedroom door. Why you want somebody about to go open that damn door? My throat was dry. All of our eyes were on the door, waiting for the unknown person to walk in. Suddenly, the sound stopped, and the door creaked open. The movement was so slow that I thought my heart would stop at any minute. But as the door opened, we saw nothing but pit black darkness on the other side of the door. It felt as if a completely different world resided beyond my bedroom door. I'm trying to see if I see something. Oh my god. Pamela and I turned towards the Ouija board left on the ground, following Corey's eyes. Y'all turned your heads off the damn door? Made my stomach drop. The glass had started to move slowly. With wide eyes, we watched the glass move chronologically. H E L L, -L O. Oh, hello. I thought I was L. Hell, hell. Here. Is this happening? Amy, is, is this you? The glass moved to yes in one swift motion. Pamela grabbed my hand in fear. She said in a broken voice, I would've snitched. We, we better move it to goodbye. But before she could do that, Corey suddenly asked, Who is responsible for your death, Amy? Corey, stop! You're messing with danger. I gotta end this right now. What happened next can only be seen in horror movies. Pamela went to grab the glass to move it to goodbye, but something invisible flung her in the air and tossed her in the hard God damn! like a doll.
Hey, go look. That's what I had get. That's what I had get from earlier. Talking about some that fat bitch had it coming. Think about fat Amy. That's what your ass get. Threw your ass like a fucking tennis ball to the wall. Indeed. I'm not mad at it. Let's watch that again. Hold on. Pamela went to grab the glass to move it to goodbye. But something invisible flung her in the air and tossed her to the hard floor like a doll. Her wrist broke and hung like a broken tree branch while she screamed in terrible pain. None of us moved because we knew the same thing would happen to us too I ain't if touch we did. Shit. The glass then slowly spelt the name of the person responsible for move it to that bit. death. P. Why is there an M? For glass then slowly spelt the name of the person responsible for Amy's death. P. A. M. E. L. A. It was you. Pamela, why? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? I swear it was just a prank. No. I didn't know she was going to kill herself. You have to move the glass to goodbye. You have to end this. Suddenly, a spine-chilling scream took place in the darkness outside my room. And I kid you not, a pair of red eyes surfaced from it. Just eyes. Wide, still, eyelidless eyes. It's just eyes and you fine. I've never seen anything so scary in my entire life. Corey fainted on the floor before she could speak a word. And Pamela started pleading. Oh, he's a death gonna be quick and easy. Amy, please, I didn't mean to. Forgive me, please. I have come to take you with me. <laughs> a black, shadowy figure started walking towards Pamela while she screamed for her life. At that moment, something hit my senses, and I grabbed the glass on the board, saying, I'm sorry, but goodbye, Amy. The air in the room got sucked in by some invisible hole, and then suddenly the lights turned on. That was the last time all three of us hung out together. I thought Pamela, Pamela was stopped gonna... coming out of her house for a month. I thought Pamela was going to get And now boy. she moved to New Orleans. Corey is still going to therapy, and I try my best to forget that night like a bad dream. Still, whenever I find myself in a dark room, I can still hear Amy's voice calling out to Pamela. I have come to take you with me. <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. Shouts out to MJ Animations. You hear me? The first one. The first one was real nice. Well, I ain't gonna lie. The first one was... Like the animations are nice, but that first one, the, the psychologically, this is a pretty disturbing story. Shut up. Psychologically, psychologically, like why you should have you should have done something about that. But it is what it is. On to the next one. All right, this one is by Papa Me. Uh, they, they changed their name. Wait, I thought it was Me King, isn't it? Wait, I I just typed in Me King. It, it's not it's not Me King. Is this did their their Papa Meat now? No, there's Papa Meat and then there's Meat Canyon. Okay, whatever. We're gonna react to Papa Meat first, and then we gonna we gonna do a Meat Canyon one after. Uh, uh, after. I only put this one because it says POV Scooby Doo caught you, so you know it's only fitting because I'm Scrappy, the one and only, indeed. Or new merch, meekeening.store. We got new hoodies and new shirts. Please check it out for my family. Thank you. All right, gang. We got the ghoul who is scaring all those people at the ice cream. What do you do to my cousin? Oh, post Scooby. The caller's killing him. Oh, my God. Cream shop. Let's go find the cops and get this crook book so we can move on to our next mystery. Scoob, why don't you stay here in case he tries any funny business? No, please don't leave me. 
You want to know how I would have gotten away with your crime? Excuse me? Hey! I would have killed the ice cream store owner, burned the tips of their fingers, and cut up their body into 12 tiny pieces, scattering them in the ocean and burying them deep in the woods. You got too showboaty with all your gimmicks. As a fellow artist, I respect the work you've done. But you were weak. You were weak to leave the store owners alive. Scoob! I'm weak, but... Like, I got us a sandwich, man! <laughs> uh, no, look at him, he loves it! Oh my god! Uh, Scoob loves his sandwiches! Oh, uh, Scooby loves his sandwiches, don't you, buddy? You sound like Morty a little bit. Let me pet you, buddy. Oh, no, please don't... Scoob's got a big old belly! Why is he don't looking you, at Scooby? me? Yes, you do. Look at you. Me and the gang wish Scooby was a girl so we could give him better belly rubs. Oh, it's hard to rub well, Scooby's what does that even belly mean? without almost touching his dinghy. <laughs> oh, oops. <sighs> like I got it at the end there a bit, but... <laughs> well, I better be getting back. I'll talk to you later, Scooby. Please don't leave me with... <laughs> That was a close one. Oh, shit, I almost close. got caught talking to you. Now, where was I? Oh, that's right. I'd not only kill the store owner, I'd kill the wife, the kids, cousins, aunts, and uncles. The whole damn family? Justice isn't pursued OTF? if there's only no in a family? seeking retribution. So I hopped from town to town. Acting like a smooth brain dog who solves innocent cases involving small town business owners like yourself. I'm only gonna live to be eight years old. Hell, maybe nine. I plan on taking as many souls as I can to hell with me. Come on, Scoob! Let's go solve more clues, buddy! <laughs> Take him. Looks like that's my call. Mm -hmm. On to the next town. You know too much. Oh shit, boy, that shit look. What's going on? What's going on? I'm your cousin. Me, Scrap Dog. You don't remember me? Puppy Power. That shit, you don't. Alright. I look, you want to change my name after that. Not even gonna lie. Okay, um. Shouts out to Papa Meat. All right, now this one is actually by Meat Canyon, and it's called "You Got a Friend in Me." And uh, I don't even know what to say. Is that supposed to be Andy? Uh Toy Story is one of Toy Stories is one of my favorite, you know, f franchises of all time. Cartoon, Pixar, whatever you want to call it. One, I love it. But uh, please. Why you gotta ruin my childhood? Like, just why? So I want you to move. I want you to move for me. If you don't respond, I'm gonna start killing all of your friends here. Oh my God, Andy. Move for me, Woody. Move for me. My toys were alive, and they were playing with my next door neighbor, and not me. Years are tough. My childhood, my whole life was knowing that my toys were alive, but they didn't want to be alive around me. You got sick of that Andy's coming. Move for me. Move. You don't give a fuck about them. As long as you don't touch Buzz. I knew it. I knew you were alive, Woody. Woody, I knew it. I, 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 I. <laughs> you 
don't try to be all buddy buddy. You just kill Potato Head, Mrs. Potato Head, Dominion, the 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 the, the. I ain't, we are eternally grateful. Him? I don't even know if that's uh, Dominion, his real name. You just kill uh, 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 Rex, goddamn, the, the toy soldiers. You think, you, like, you think, what are you gonna fuck with you? What are you about to fuck with you? Because I wouldn't fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? Do you were alive, Woody, Woody, I knew it. I, 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 I. <laughs> you have cancer, Andy. What the fuck? <laughs> when we reveal ourselves to be alive to humans, they contract cancer. You got cancer, Andy. Sorry, Andy. Andy, Andy, Andy you have cancer. Sorry, cancer. Sorry, pal. What the fuck? Did you ever wonder where Sid went? He moved. He... Mom said he moved. He moved to heaven, Andy. He got cancer. Slow your roll now. Now, we watch the movies. First of all, Sid was a badass little child. To a little chill child. That motherfucker ain't gonna know the hell heaven. Don't you eat, don't you eat, try to pull that shit on me. Hell no. Boy, that boy was a demon child. He, Mom said he moved. He moved to heaven, Andy. He got cancer and died. I know that you just found out that you have cancer, but it feels so nice being able to talk to you finally. <laughs> Why would you do this? I didn't want to, Andy, but... You forced my hand. I had to look out for my partners. It's like looking into the face of an angel, Andy. It's too much for humans. You don't come back from infinity, Andy. Ah, <laughs> oh, partner, no, no, got no, cancer. No, 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 He the only one that looks normal, the damn pig! Andy's no longer coming. Andy, boy. I know, sweetie, I know. I know. Oh. 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 Hey. I ain't gonna lie, that shit is fucked up. That shit's... It wasn't even scary, this shit was funny as hell. You never come back from infinity. What the fuck? What are you... Why is that the first thing you say, Buzz? All right, this next one is called Close Your Eyes, award-winning short horror film, 2022. And we about to see how award-winning this motherfucker is right here by Locus Garden. Locus, Loctus, Lucas, Locust Garden. Martin? You good, bro? Martin, what are you doing? Martin? Sleepwalking? They glory hole. She told me if I close my eyes, she'd tell me secrets. Did she also Who tell you you gotta put your head that? to the door? <laughs> oh, like a Trey Young? Dreaming. Mm. <laughs> Get the damn curse out the way. There you go. Ah, never mind, still there. I was just waiting for that lock, that lock noise. Don't hit your, don't hit your toes on the end of the quarter, please not. Whoa. 
voice. You ain't got no curtains? We well, ain't got curtains either, but you ain't gotta be like a I could've sworn he just sworn he just locked that door. Like I could've sworn he just locked that door. Indeed. <clears throat> oh shit! <laughs> what? Hey, no. <laughs> what the fuck? 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 What the hell? What the hell? No, bro. Shh, bro, look at there's just no way in hell you can just walk in your living room, regardless of the fact, re regardless of the fact that it's dark, you can feel somebody's presence when they're in the room with you. I just feel like. Like, like, even when you're about to get scared and you feel like you don't know if somebody's there, you can feel their fucking presence. Like, like, I can feel somebody behind me and I turn around and nobody's there. But that's besides the point. Like, I can feel like somebody's here. So I turn around any fucking way. There's just no way how I'm going to walk straight and somebody's in my peripheral. My peripheral. And a bitch like this. Oh my god. Ew! Hit the ass with my guitar! And she had her boobies all out. I might have to put this music. Put this put this video as a movie. Woo! Hey, 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 we ain't with that demonic shit over here. All right, <clears throat> next one and final one is called the Ballerina short horror film by social house films uh have i heard of them i'm not quite sure but uh hey let's go ahead and get into these you know what i'm saying let's go ahead and get into these you know what I'm saying? Into these. this will be the final one of the night That kind of cute. What's in the pros? Oh, she on her mama mentality. Get in practice whenever she can get it in. Day, night, morning. I respect it. What the hell is that? <clears throat> ah. You need some new ballerinas. <laughs> Can't do it. Refuse to do it too. Maybe tonight ain't the night. Maybe we should just go home, fix us a good sandwich, watch some goddamn King Scrappy, and go to sleep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, fuck it up then. Fuck it up then. Fuck it up then, sis. Mm -hmm. 
Am I the only one tripping or do I hear bones cracking every fucking time she move? You hear that? Damn! That shit loud. <clears throat> Ooh. I see my, my ankle sensitive. I can't do that. Like I feel like I twist my shit immediately. Tonight ain't the night. Just come back in the morning. There's always tomorrow. Ugh. Tonight ain't the night. I'm going to say it again. Tonight ain't the night. Pack your shit up. Go home. Take your shoes with you. They yours. Ain't nobody going to put their damn nasty ass feet in there. Now she plants her rates. Jazz hands. <laughs> Get your shit and go. Get your shit and... Fuck it, dance battle. Ballerina battle. Tiptoe battle, something. She won't beef. Did she knock on the window? I just realized that. This shit ain't normal. Now you trying to be a reflection. Man, if you don't get your ass in the, in the car. Anything you can do, I can do better. Oh, she's... Your reflection is off balance. And you're trying to teach your reflection. What the fuck is she doing? You're sluggish. Sniff. You'll never sell tickets. like a six-year-old trying to do it <laughs> it's not hard I can do this shit she getting aggravated Not expecting that. What's them? What's them? What's them puppets of it? Not a ventral. Is it ventriloquo? No, 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 no. Not those. The the the, the little dummies. You like they like like they like 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 you got a dummy doll or somebody else and anything that you do to the dummy happens to the per. Ooh, damn! I felt that. Damn! I told you I got sensitive ankles. I can't deal this shit. Run it back. Should have just left. Left her ass alone. Sometimes it ain't always. And the 921. What's she doing? I can't do it. My fingers hurt. Damn. Damn. My shit hurt. Oh my god. Oh. Disgusting. My god. We're going to push through though. You ain't going nowhere. Stay your ass here. <laughs> I 
ain't running that back. Ah! Uh, <laughs> okay, you a boss. Get your ass back up. What's she doing? Meanwhile, she's just a dancing. Damn, this shit hurt. All right. <clears throat> All right, this is going to be the end of the video. If y'all haven't already, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe, and hit the post notification bell so y'all get notified every single time you boy upload. If y'all fucking with this, hey, and y'all don't give a damn about my delayed ass camera, and know for a fact that I'm going to get a better one, just don't know when. Um, I do have another camera in the room. I'm going to actually try that one next time and see if, it, if it's delayed or not. But uh, anyway. Uh, like I said, hit, uh, if y'all fuck up with this, they got a whole bunch of other horror stuff to, to look at, you know? So, I mean, if y'all want more, 50 likes, 50 likes, and we gotta give you, I give you another one, you know? Uh, and so, yeah, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm <laughs> catch y'all, y'all baby boys and baby girls later in the next episode, or if there's a next episode, I'm King Scrappy and I am out. Peace!